Okay, we have gone exactly 30 days on this thing, and we're going to start to take a look at some of the numbers we've got, and this is before the cold plus is put in. Okay, looking at our little readout here, the only part of this is really important is the kilowatt hours in the upper right. There's 41.54 kilowatt hours. Now this is this is only testing the compressor itself. It's not testing the fan or any of the electronics. I've told you that before. And these readings, the other three readings are the power is the uh, power it's using right then, and of course the voltage at that time, and the amperage draw on the right lower. So 4154 is a total number for the month. And I'm also going to show you the numbers uh, for the kilowatt. Now that's a total amperage or the total power usage of the entire unit for the month. Okay, I've stopped this video right here. I want you to note uh, the power in kilowatts on the left. That's 0.663. Now that's a maximum amp draw or power usage, total power usage of this unit uh, just as the fan started. Because the fan started right as uh, I cut that off. This may be the most definitive way of determining how much energy this uses because the uh, 0.663 is a fairly constant number. I've gone over it a number of times, and it seems to be right about anywhere from 62 to, you know, 68 or something like that. So that's pretty a pretty common number. And that may be my best way of determining whether I have increased efficiency. Remember, this is a compressor only here. And so I think maybe I'm going to be looking at this as I go through this next month. And you can see the power usage drop uh, as the fan comes on. And here I'll let it continue. Now here I'm showing the gauge set, and we're going to have this thing fire up in a minute here. You can see by the uh, temperature on this that it is 70 degrees in that room, and it pretty much stays that way all the time. Let's watch these gauges as they move up and go. this thing goes through its cycle with the fan cycling on and off. Okay, here you can see the unit operating. I'm going to let it run through a cycling of the fan so you can kind of see the head pressure as it changes around. I'm not sure this is going to be really helpful for the power usage, but I kind of wanted to record it just in case it was.
here's a look at it with a timer so you can see how long it takes before the fan comes on and uh, continues its operation. This is also typical. It takes a little over a minute to go through the cycle. It uh, goes down to as low as like that 197 number and up to about 235. Uh, that's standard for this thing. I don't expect the cold plus to change this much. Uh, this is a total kilowatt usage of the entire unit for the last 30 days. And here is the total elapsed time that the unit has run. And we have $6.37 as a total cost. Okay, beginning on uh, July 6th, I put two ounces of the Cold Plus in this unit. It's only three quarter tons, so I did not put the entire can in. As I thought, the entire can, which is I think six and a half ounces, uh, may upset the balance with the refrigerant. I, I really didn't know, but I didn't want to put any more of this than I thought was, was going to be necessary. So uh, just two ounces were put in. I may put in more if I don't seem to find any effect of it. Anyway, it, the test is started and it'll go for 30 days.